one of the hallmarks that you will see at this year's United States Open at the Country Club here at Brookline is the blind shot. It tests the player's commitment as much as it does their talent. How are we picking out a target here on the 15th? Yeah, I think it's a little bit of trial and error. Obviously, I've already walked the course, so I have kind of a rough idea of where we're going. Okay. But Yeah, like, I mean, you get to a fairway, and all you need to know is to hit it straight, and if you miss the fairway, it's uh, the teacher's fault, and if you're long or short into the green, it's the caddy's yeah, fault. fault. So yeah. I'm in a no-lose situation. <laughs> Weber, we're gonna put you on the spot, man. What's the target? Uh, he told me five yards left to the edge of the bunker. Oh, there's a disclaimer in there. I heard it. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you laid up eighth hole. Hole location today is back left. Can't really see the putting surface. So what's the mental process to get your yardage and to feel comfortable over the shot when you can't see the landing area? Yeah, I think it kind of goes to the range, uh, range work where, you know, Joe will say, hey, we have 122 hole or whatever we have. Uh, it needs to land 118 and you kind of almost have to just turn your eyes off a little bit uh, and just hit like more of like a track man style golf shot. Okay. And yeah, you would hit that uh, knowing, you know, hey, it's gonna land 18, bounce up, and you don't necessarily need to see the golf ball. And then you have to wait for the gallery. Wait for claps. That's, <laughs> that's, right. that's what the blind shot game is. You wait for claps. <laughs> just tell us, just walk us through how you go through the process of this shot. Yeah, first off, I obviously made a pretty bad error here. Um, basically from here, I can barely see the top of the flag stick. I would go up there. I, I mean, if I couldn't see it, I would probably pick like a little weed that I can see as my target. And probably when I get over it, yeah, I can't even see the top of it. So I would try to pick something that's basically online with where I want to land it. Thankfully, this one's back uphill. If I was downhill, I'd be just hoping for bogey. Yep. But um, from here, you know, just try to give yourself the best looking par. About 10 feet, a little less. Right. Well, moral okay. of the story is don't be here, but if yeah. you hit it here, do that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just give yourself something that you can hopefully make par from. 